from the Jewelry Fair to the Emerald Isle for a visit to Kalani. Kalani, ah, it's a beautiful place, sure enough. And when you're not intoxicated by its loveliness, you're probably losing your shirt at the races. For this is a place where they really love and know their horses. It's said, after all, that Irishmen and horse racing are synonymous. Let's take a quick look now at a typical race. They call horse racing the sport of kings. Not so difficult to understand, for there would seem to be royal blood coursing through the veins of thoroughbreds like these. You don't have to be a horse lover to appreciate these fine animals, for example, at the Irish National Stud in County Kildare. This cute little four-month-old, a foal by the great Talia, who in his career was unbeaten for three years and won many classics, including the Derby and St. Ledger, is already worth £10,000. The sires of many of these foals are almost household names in England. Talia, Arctic Prince, Preceptic, while an almost as famous newcomer to the stud is Panaslipper, here, winner of several big races, including the Irish Derby of 1955, the year he was second to Phil Drake in the English Derby. Preceptic looks on, perhaps a little enviously, as another famous horse, Vimy, gets his dose of VIP treatment, his daily ration of a couple of bottles of stout in his feed. We said that stout was a special treatment, but in fact, if any of the horses had a taste for champagne and caviar, they'd probably get it. They've earned it, after all. To Donald McGee, the assistant manager, and old Tom Lynch, who's been looking after horses for nearly 60 years, this is a labour of love. Their charges are the cream of horse racing. Talia, for example, cost the stud the record sum of a quarter of a million pounds. And from them, let's hope we'll see the big names of tomorrow in this The Sport of Kings. <laughs>